Hello all. Okay, this video, it's only going to be a photo slideshow video. Basically, uh, yesterday I went up to Aberdeen and I spent the, the Sunday afternoon just killing, uh, utilising time. <laughs> killing time, utilising time. I went up there, had the day off and um, I just thought I'd try out one of the coaches, the M9 double deck. Uh, I was hoping to get a Volvo Astro Max 927, but I didn't get that on the way up. We got a standard twin axle coach. On the way back, I actually got a double deck uh, tri axle coach, so I was quite happy with that because I wanted to try one of these models out. I think it may have been a Volvo, I'd have to check back on that. I didn't get the full specifications on it, but I know that it's quite a new one and it's the double decker tri axle coach. Sort of similar to the. Um, what I base my one of my Lego models off of. But anyway, besides that, that was one of the key reasons, or one of the main reasons I went up to Aberdeen yesterday. Uh, I was to say I wanted to just spend some time, had we wandered around. Uh, I got there, uh, had my lunch, went for a pint in the Witherspoons on Union Street, and you get a pint for less than two pounds. And that's quite rare these days to get a pint that cheap. That was barely even 80 shilling for 190, and that was really good for that price, uh, so I uh, went in there for a, a pint. And then after that I went to the Maritime Museum, uh, down on the, close by the Aberdeen docks. It's free to get in, it was an old church building that uh, was converted into the, uh, I guess, several floors in this museum, and in the centre of the museum there's like a model skilled model of an oil rig and it goes right down through the centre. Um, I've got footage of that. Well, I've got footage, I've got pictures, photos. There's also well, there's loads of stuff in it. Loads of stuff in that museum. So, there's, I took some pictures of that. Uh, after that, I went to... I think I wandered past... The, well, Union Square, I had to anyway. That's where the bus station is in the centre. It's right next to the Aberdeen Railway Station. Then I had a wander up to the River D by the bridges. I uh, got some footage, pictures, of the photographs of the bridges and the um, Aberdeen over in the, well, the, the centre of Aberdeen, looking from Tory side of the, the River Dee. So I haven't counted how many photographs I've taken yet, but I'm going to make it into a slideshow and uh, I'll just put that on the video. So that's what it's going to be like. Um, so I've done, I actually done a live when I was up there, a live stream video, uh, when I was in on the banks, one of the banks next to the docks, the docking area, industrialised area on the River Dee, quite close to Torrey district of Aberdeen, but unfortunately the quality wasn't that great, the picture was just, just as I kind of suspected, it was pixelated, so... There was something quite bizarre that I saw there when I was actually doing a live stream. It was regarding strange bubbles in the water coming up from the riverbed. Uh, I've done a video on that, which will be on before this, or I'll either be on before this video or after it, depending on what order I put in. It's just uploading now. It's probably uploaded, so I'll get this one uploaded also. So it's either going to be before or after it. If you want to see it, then just go back a couple of videos and go forward, depending on the order. Um, what else did I do now? Mm. There's some quite puzzling, to me anyway, uh, artwork, street artwork by the Union Square. I've got footage of that as well on here. So, anyway, I've got to get out. I've got to just a quick introduction to this video. Uh, so, I hope you enjoy it and just, I uh, well, hope you enjoy it. See what else is sticking on my channel. Okay, see you later. Bye for now.
Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, when I was up there as well, by the way, I went to the uh, Sunny World, Sunny World Cinema uh, in Union Square and I watched the Civil War 2024 film. But it was quite, uh, quite a strange film, so it's worth watching if you're um, if you've got like a, if you want to go to the cinema to see a film, I'd recommend watching that. I enjoyed it, so I thought it was worth watching. So just thought I'd mention it. That was something I'd done when I went up there. I went and uh, I watched the uh, Civil War twenty four. So it was quite, mm, quite quite interesting, eerie though. I won't spoil it. It's basically about reporters um, during the American Civil War. It's um, not set back in time. It's maybe like a future in the future slightly but in that time zone in the current time zone timeline it's not a, a historical film or anything like that and they're basically in the front line taking photographs of the during the, the war action basically um, taking images of people getting after they've been shot blown up set on fire buildings getting blown up they're front, front line reporters basically in the midst of all the, uh, the military battle zone action and um, that's what the film's about. But, uh, well, that's. But it's not what it's about, but it's obviously there's more storylines in the film that, depending on how you, you watch it, there's in, in between the lines and all the rest of it, and there's the blumrows, etc. It's, it's about a whole array of things, films, movies in general, but <clears throat> um, you could take it as the, uh, the, a storyline. You could have it as a. You could think of it or watch it as a storyline. Of being about that because it was showing reporters. That's probably best to describe things like that because it's more opinionated if you give what it's about. If you try and say what a film's about, it's more giving your opinion on what it's about. Because I think that if you, it's like viewing a picture. If you look at a picture, it can be seen in an unlimited way. You know, uh, it depends on how it's, it can be interpreted in an unlimited way. Depending on who's looking at it, or in this case a film, who's viewing it, because there's unlimited ways of interpreting things. So I kind of like interpret it as being reporters. I mean, it reads it in the synopsis. I mean, that's what it says in there. But again, you can read that and you know, Google it up and see. You'll get what it says about the film. But if you're describing things like what a picture is about, what a film's about, I would say it really depends on the person that's watching it or observing it, and giving their interpretation of it so the writer you know there's always films just between the lines it's not just one storyline there's obviously a lot more to it it's because of what you and how the viewer um you know interpret it interpret it so. but uh no i think it, i enjoyed it anyway i could say that i could say i i would watch it again and if you want to watch something again it's worth watching so <laughs> i just thought i'd mention that i, did, I couldn't film that, a picture that or photograph that to share in the video but uh the museum, the, the Maritime Museum, is that's worth uh, visit. It's free. <laughs> you don't hear that word free very often, but it's free. So definitely um, recommend that. Aberdeen, there's loads of things in Aberdeen. I mean, it's big enough to say, is it? No, it's not. It's a big. It's it's not a small say. And there's obviously the area that I was in was just in a small area. I didn't have any. I didn't go in the transport around on the, the buses. I covered a lot of distance. I just stayed. I stayed put, basically, I stayed roughly where I was when I got dropped off at the coat, the bus shop, bus station because we didn't have a lot of time and I wasn't really planning to go for so it was just a very limited area that I was at but it was a Sunday as well so um, there was still a lot of things open when you for a Sunday compared to what the Sundays were like way back in the 80s I didn't feel like a Sunday these days I was going to the Union Square shopping centre it was just like a Saturday afternoon everything was open but so people were going around I remember the days back in the 80s when the Sunday it felt like a Sunday it was, everything was closed it was quiet there was only like a few convenience stores in the corners that were open um, but the majority of everything was shut you know, that's what a Sunday felt like but um it's just totally changed times now, like, you know, I would say in the last, well, probably since about the mid to late 90s, uh, when we started introducing the uh, retail parts and 24 hour superstores and all the rest of it. And, uh, anyway, this is kind of going off a tangent. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and um, thanks for selecting it, thanks for watching it. <laughs> uh, see what else I've got on my channel, okay? See you later, bye. Bye now.